Okay, thought I'd show you my latest little addition to the shop. Uh, been wanting to, I got so little space here, I need to do something to minimize the room taken up by some of this equipment. So my sander and my planer uh, decided I could put them on this flip cart. I found these designs on uh, YouTube. This guy named Drew Fisher uh, has a woodworking YouTube channel. And uh, he kind of came up with this design. I did some modifications to it to fit this better, uh, especially like beefing up this top a little bit. Since I've got the planer on there, that planer is a heavy SOB. It weighs about 100 pounds in comparison to, to the, the sander. Uh, his was designed for a sander, and I think he had uh, either another small sander or a, a grinder or something, a grinding wheel or something on it. But uh, basically, this thing, this pivots, uh, basically there's a ga half inch pipe uh, gas line going through the middle of this thing. Turn this, uh, turn this, let's see it. So like on the end, uh, there's pipe going through there. I can show you some pictures. I took uh, the middle of this thing. It was like a jigsaw puzzle inside here. Because I had to, um, these cables for both the sander and the planer, they go into the top and stay in there. Um, this, uh, and the, the side here, uh, I'll flip it around and show you here in a second, but it has a uh, power strip. And uh, that power strip, both these plug into it in the middle there. That way I don't have to change this, you know, when I flip it, it's ready to go. Uh, so that power strip comes out, the cable cord comes out the end. I put a, a plug on it, just plugs in like an extension cord into the wall. And uh, once it's plugged in, Once it's plugged in, ready to go. Uh, the planer is the same way. I'm going to fire it up though because it's a little, little more uh, uh, technical, I guess, to mess around with that thing right now. But uh, basically, I got some latches here. Uh, got a set on this on the back for when the sander is up. Basically, just latches this top down so it doesn't wobble or anything. I want to flip. And then, uh, so you unlatch those, and this just flips over. It takes a little bit of muscle because of the weight difference between the two, but it's not that bad. It's a little tighter than I wanted it to be. Uh, I get a chance sometime, I might see if I can find like some nylon washers to put in the middle there, see if it'll make this thing set, get a little more separation. And I think the plywood is actually kind of uh, on the sides, kind of bowed in a little bit or something, but it works. And pull this up, latch her down, and then uh, and it's not going anywhere. Uh, Brent's got a little door held on with magnets. Uh, I need to beef it up and add another magnet, I believe. I, I didn't, uh, that or it's a matter of one of these magnets didn't, uh, one or two of them, I didn't get them in there good and flat when I epoxy them in and they're so the I think it might be this side here is not really grabbing real good. Maybe it's like both of them. But uh the other side I have one of these two. I just uh, the plans didn't call for it and I only bought two handles so I gotta get another one. I gotta get them at Menards and can't go over to Indiana right now uh, with the coronavirus lockdown. Uh there's no Menards here in Louisville. I can't find them anywhere else. So, uh, but then it's got a drawer at the bottom, and this gives me some storage for the sander and pieces, and you know, my blades for that. And I've got uh, some hand planes in here, and it closes up. And it's on casters, uh, locking casters, so I can wheel it around, lock it down where I use it. Got my dust port collections uh, connectors on both of them, so hook my uh, dust collector right up to it, and it's ready to go. But thought I'd show you. Thought you might think that was kind of slick. Ah.